optimizing your LinkedIn ads is the holy grail. Just spending some money on ads is pretty easy, but to get them to perform, to be cash flow positive or to get the engagement goals that you're looking for, you need to analyze your campaign results. And as you can see here, um, with our example from Monday Rocks, not all posts are created equal. They are very, very different in terms of their performance. Let's, let's take a closer look at the results we see here. Here we have four campaigns. This is a time frame in which 700 euros uh, were spent on different ads. And we can see the top four ones that uh, received between 336 euros. Um, and you can see that the cost per results are very different. We have two different campaign types. We have video view campaigns and engagement. And you can see that the average CPM cost to reach a thousand people is 11 euro. This is incredibly cheap for LinkedIn. So why is this so cheap? Um, this is cheap because Sophie, who did those ads, really focused on putting out great non-boring content. And this is how you get rewarded by those social media platforms. If you don't put out boring ads, you get cheaper reach. This is even a typical price as you would see it on Facebook, yeah, in a B2B environment. But cheap reach is not the only name in town. What you want is actual click performance. You want to see how many people click through. Now, not all of those posts had external links in it. So you can see that there are great differences in the click-through rate of those posts, which gives you an idea of, of how engaging and how committed the people are who are uh, watching your ads and what they do, how many people react, how many people like, how many people share and comment. And from that, you can learn so much about what your audience wants and doesn't want, even if you don't care about the whole performance aspect of making ads work. Um, Ads is a great sounding board and a field where you can experiment. We can just turn off a post if you don't like it anymore. But what we want to do is we want to look beyond clicks. What we want is deeper engagement. Here on this slide, you can still see the like video views. How, how long was that video and how, many, how much percentage was watched of that video? But what we actually want as growth marketers is to see the, the results that we get beyond the platform and beyond the click. And that's why the next step is to set up real conversion tracking with the good old Google Tech Manager. We talked about Google Tech Manager in the last meetup. So if you missed the meetup, just go back to piratesgoods.com and or to the YouTube channel and we have all of the introductory uh, videos to Google Tech Manager up there. It's one hour really learning it as fast as possible. How do you create conversions and retargeting audience? It's all hidden in the uh, account assets section of your um, LinkedIn Ads Manager, as you can see on the screenshot. Yeah, you just press on create assets and there you can already see, oh yeah, we can, we can create an insights tag and we need to install it. So what's, so what's this insights tag? Let's, let's take a look. So um, if you, uh, LinkedIn provides you with a pixel just like the most other platforms do, like the Google Analytics is a pixel, the Facebook pixel is a pixel, and the LinkedIn insights tag is a pixel. And that is a piece of JavaScript that lands on your website and that gives information if the user consented back to the platforms. And this is very important because then the platforms are able to tell you which campaigns are working and which are not. And what the platforms can do as well is optimize and choose the audience groups for those conversion goals. There are great benefits to do it. And if you can live with the GDPR concerns uh, that are involved, uh, and I can as long as I do really proactive consent and give people an option to opt out and don't just load the pixel, then I think you are on the good side of marketing. Here you can see that there is already a pixel there that it received a signal two hours ago. And if you don't have this set up already, you can just create the pixel on that screen and you're ready to go. But then you need to install it. You can install the pixel however you want. You can hard code it, but I am a sucker for Google Tag Manager, as you noticed in the last meetup. 
this is the place where I want to manage all of my tags. I, I don't want to hard code every single piece on every page that I upload. Even if I use a CRM, I really prefer the flexibility that I get through a tag management system. It doesn't need to be Google's, but that's simply my own preference. Google Tag Manager is there and there is a very detailed descriptions and how to's on the LinkedIn page, uh, as you can see here on, on, on what to do. But, but let me show you. Yeah, let me show you how this works on in Google Tag Manager land, again, with our case study example of Monday Rocks, the B2B teamwork app. Here you can see the screenshot from, from the Monday Rocks Tag Manager. And you can already see that there are a lot of tags and events set up for people. And what they do on the website is being tracked as long as they consented. And at the very bottom, there is the good old LinkedIn Insights tag. But let's say we want to create it completely new. And you create on, yeah, I want to have a new tag. And then you choose the LinkedIn Insights tag out of the drop down menu. Google Tag Manager has everything pretty much set up for you. All you need to do is to enter your partner ID there and say fix it to specific domains so nobody can spam this pixel. And just tell Google Tag Manager that you wanted to fire on all landing pages or all websites that, that you think that it makes sense. For me, it's usually all websites. That's as easy as it gets yeah, for Google Tag Manager and installing the Insights tag. So no big deal. And if you feel it's a big deal, you probably don't have a Google Tag Manager installed. Google Tag Manager just avoids this whole this is a big deal thing. So go back to the last meetup, watch that, get convinced, get your team on the boat that the developers should not waste their resources uh, by installing event tags. Yeah, that should be done by us. Now we are ready. We have the pixel on the website. Everything is live. And now we can define the conversion event. Again, in the assets, uh, account assets tab in your account um, ads manager on LinkedIn, you click on conversions and you can then just define a new conversion. And most of the time you're making a decision based on the URL. Uh, you say like, oh, somebody landed on slash thank you. Yeah, in this case, we have a URL Monday Rock slash Terminbuchung, which means like appointment booking. So if somebody has booked an appointment, bam, it gets a conversion event. This is what you usually want to do. This is what Rene was asking about. Yeah, can you do strategy calls yeah this is exactly what we have been doing here so you can do it and then you can decide like attribution windows all the fancy stuff uh, but the most important step is to decide on which url you want to say like this is a special moment in the user journey and we call that a conversion and from that time on it shows up in your ads manager which is a huge boon for interpreting your results while before you were focused on getting cheap reach, cheap clicks, you can forget about this and just look for low cost per acquisition. If you go beyond that, you could even connect it to potential future revenue and, and look at it from a return of advertising spent basis. But you get this only when you configure your insights tag and define conversions on your website. I think that's a great achievement Congratulations, unicorn, awesome flair for you guys. That's it. We have discussed whether or not LinkedIn ads are right for you, how to target people, how to create a simple promotion campaign, and then how to do the more advanced setup for the conversion events. This is the same way how you create retargeting audiences, just a simple extra step. And we are now ready to go into the Q&A segment.